Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters, how quickly time has gone by and now more than two years have passed since the pandemic started. Alhamdulillah. All praises be to Allah. The blessed month of Ramadan is once again around the corner. And this year's Ramadan would have been the eighth Ramadan since the day I took my Shahada, the Islamic Declaration of Faith. I cannot express how grateful and excited I am to experience Ramadan again this year. We must be thankful because not many of us have the opportunity to experience Ramadan as some of us are called home and return to Allah. I have met and know of people who died of COVID and the jab. Many of us have probably lost a friend or a loved one in the past two years. There have been ambulances sounding their sirens day in and out and I can't help but imagine a dystopian future of a society bereaved of reason. It's been so long since we've experienced praying side by side with a fellow Muslim brother or for the ladies with a Muslim sister in the mosque. Ya Akhi, don't you miss that spirit of closeness at the mosque during Ramadan? Don't you miss breaking fast together and crowded tarawih nights in the mosque? Whatever our situation is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has certainly willed it and we have to also live with our choices in life. As Muslims, we should continue to be grateful for all that we have and do not have as there's divine wisdom in everything. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comfort our hearts to accept His will and purify our hearts and intention as we welcome the blessed month of Ramadan into our hearts and life again. Ya Allah, Please accept all our prayers and du'a supplications and open up our hearts to receive your words in the Qur'an as we recite the entire Qur'an this Ramadan. Looking back, I can't help but wonder if I had grown spiritually and made improvements in my life to be a better servant of Allah and a person to my family and society. Have I been a good husband to my wife, father to my child, son to my parents and my in-laws, brothers to my sister and friend? Have I been a good colleague and teammate? Have I done enough to bring benefit to people? How did I spend all the time given to me since the last Ramadan? Did I spend it on senseless gaming, watching TV, Netflix and Disney+, Plus, surfing the internet, browsing social media channels like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok? Or am I investing in Bitcoin? Or did I practice discipline and control my nerf, ego and desire? Do I take time to heal, recharge, reflect, develop myself physically and mentally and reach out to help those around me? Did I practice being grateful for all the good and bad that have happened to me? COVID-19 has certainly robbed many of us of experiencing life as freely as we used to. Some of us have been isolated and died without the world knowing or having anyone by our side. Some do not even have people attending their funerals. Each day, the gap between the rich and the poor widens. Jobs and careers are lost and businesses are impacted and closed down. Many may also find it hard to put food on the table and make ends meet. Some are driven out of desperation to leave the country or end their life. Truth and lies are littered all across the media without accountability. There's war in Ukraine and in certain parts of the world. Vaccine differentiation measures to stay to divide people and the unvaccinated are still denied the basic civil rights. Fear and uncertainty wreak the air and many are at a loss. In times like this, it certainly reminded me of that surah Al-As in the Quran. A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wal-As inna insana lafi khusa إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَآمِلُوا صَالِحَاتِ وَتَوَصَوْا بِحَقَّ وَتَوَصَوْا بِصَبْرِ صدق الله العظيم By the passage of time, indeed mankind is in a loss, except for those who believed and done righteous deeds and advised each other to truth and advised each other to have patience. Surah Al-As, The Declining Day, Chapter 103, Verse 1-3 to of the Holy Qur'an How do we find peace? amid these noises and uncertain future. Can we go back to life before the pandemic began? It is interesting to note that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses time as a conduit to describe the state of affairs in men. Time 
is indeed a blessing we give little thought to in life. We use it to chase our dreams and riches. We use it to get the things we want. We use it to feed ourselves, increase our knowledge, to be with those we love. How often have we taken it for granted and thought we have loads to spare? Before we know it, we are at the last stretch of the runway. Time is indeed priceless, one that is more valuable than money itself. It is the currency of the divine, yet most of us do not put enough thought into it. What would you have done differently if you could turn back time? What will you do now with the time you have? Only when we know our true purpose in life and accept death as part of life will we value every second of it. This chapter in the Holy Quran is also not all sad but encouraging, as you can also see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions how to use time wisely so that we will not be in a state of loss. He also emphasizes the word patience at the end of this surah, as if reading our thoughts and hearts, knowing that we question some of the things that are going on in our life, the injustices and oppression that we face. Why do bad things happen to good people? Trust me, as there is divine wisdom in everything, even when we do not see it now. While we are limited by our beliefs and biological senses, Allah sees everything, the seen and the unseen. And who is the best of all planets but Allah? So trust in the plan and have patience. Keep doing what is right, whether or not anyone is looking. Always ask yourself if we can live with our choices in life and if this is what we'd do if it is our last second to live. May we live this world in the best state, in our best self when we are called home to return to Allah. Brothers and sisters, let us make plans to spend this year's Ramadan wisely. Let us not just go through the motion of fasting thoughtlessly or ritualizing prayers without allowing the words of the Quran to sink deeply in our hearts. Let us try to implement the words of the Quran in our lives and practice the Sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad wasallam. Peace and blessings be upon him. Let our resolution this Ramadan be that it will soften our hearts and put tears in our eyes as we embrace the overflowing mercy of Allah. Let our nights be spent in prayer and conversing with Allah. Let us be more empathetic towards each other and help each other within our communities. Let us pray that we can return once again to our lives before the pandemic, but much better than it was before. A world with more peace and where oppression and injustices will end. May all evil men and jinns be held accountable in this life and in the hereafter. May Allah continue to bless us with barakah and rizqi in life. Give us His strength and protection and His mercy and guidance always. To those who have passed on in life, Inna lillahi wa inna ilahi roji'un. Verily, we belong to Allah and to Him do we return. May their souls rest in peace until the last day when we all will rise again. May all of us enter and reunite in Jannah to Firdaus. Ameen, Ya Rabbal Alameen. By the way, dear brothers and sisters, the Shahro Ramadan series will be returning on 2nd of April and it will be going on for every other day. So we will have a break between each episode. During the live streaming, we will also be doing a charity run for orphans in Cambodia. Details are here in the description below if you wish to donate. I will also be giving away a Quran after the first episode of the Ramadan series to the winner of the quiz. We will be holding a quiz at the end of episode 1 and the winner will be given a Quran. Lastly, I would like to introduce to you this Buku Checklist Amalan distributed by Noreen. This Buku is by Puan Saira. Inside here you find that they have 7 day one and also a 30 day one so if you want to go through the entire ramadan from day one to day 30 you can go through it with this 30 day challenge if you just want to try 7 days and you have a 7 day one here okay so what do we have in this book right okay as you can see it's a nice hard cover around this green book very nice beautifully printed i would say yeah yeah but very small handy book that you can bring along with you traveling anywhere you want to go. You can just carry this in your handbag, very easy. You can even write your name here. That's like the checklist belongs to who. You have this, you know, like those bubble tea gift card, like one to 20 stickers, and then you get a free drink. Yeah, but they encourage you over here to use this as a checklist, like a, a marker to indicate uh, the days of the Ramadan, each day that you've gone through 
so that you know that you're nearing the end of the 30 day challenge. So they give you an advice how to have the five formula to be a positive person, a positive Muslim. Number one, start your morning with a smile and with gratitude. Two, surround yourself with positive friends. Three, ask for forgiveness and forgive. Four, cleanse your heart with tawbah and istighfar. Number five, listen to motivational quotes. These are the five formula to have a positive mindset. Okay, so over here they give you a guide on the, what you can do throughout the 30 days. Okay, you can write your gratitude and du'a list every morning on how thankful you are to Allah. Okay, you recite morning du'as and al-fatiha and they say here page 10. So refer to page 10. Okay, recite the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at page 17. You can do zikr. Uh, chosen name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every day. So they give you also the 99 names of Allah, the Asmul Husna. Okay, and you can see all the 99 names are written here. So you can use these names and to do zikr. You also have Tasbir, Tahlil, Takbir and Tahmid. These are the four different types of zikr you can do. They show you what kind of salawat to give also to Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, peace and blessings be upon him. After you do zikr, istighfar, tasbih, tahlil, tahmid, and takbir, they also ask you to recite Surah Al Anbiya, ayat 87, and also Surah Sa'd, verse 54, Surah Al Ghafir, verse 44, and Surah Al Tawbah, verse 128 to 129. So they, they give you a very clear guide on what you can do during the month of Ramadan which I think it's a good guide for you know for all of us even for beginners especially for beginners yeah also they explain that you can do Surah Al-Kafir verses 1 to 10 and 100 to 110 basically it says here to protect you from Dajjal and from the slander Surah Al-Rahman so you get blessings and to be loved by Allah Surah al waqiyah Avoid poverty and smoothness of wealth. Surah Yasin as well is when the day of judgment comes. Surah Al Muluk, be spared from grave judgment. So they explain here what the different surahs that you can read in your Quran. And now here you can see, they even have a way to engage you, giving you a blank page here. You can write down your gratitude list or list of du'as that you want to make or list of surahs that you want to read. There's a checklist here. You can see colorful checklist over here you can write like i've completed number one number two or number three of my checklist i've done my morning dua number one i've recited al-fatiha number one and if you've done so then you can mark it off the checklist and that's the end of day one and should you have more time on your hand you can also play a crossword puzzle so interesting so you are constantly being engaged besides crossword puzzles you have sudoku here so you also have getting through a maze so it's constantly engaging you as the reader besides that there are some words of encouragement here advice as well on what to avoid like unhealthy food during your breakfast and lastly check the box after you complete reading the quran so this is a table of what you can do per day how to read the quran and complete it all in 30 days this book i would say is very comprehensive it covers a lot of aspects of ibadah worship and i i guess it will help the worshiper to get close with the quran during the month of ramadan so I will highly encourage you to get this book by Noreen. Her IG handle is the local Noreen. I'll put it down in the description below to check it out. So may all of you have a blessed Ramadan and may this month of Ramadan open up our hearts to accept the words of the Quran. May our intentions be true and purified and may we all embrace each other if we can and if we can't because of COVID-19, do give your brother and sisters, friends even a call and ask how are they. Inshallah, may Allah put an end to all of this. And we all be able to return back to life better than it was before. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.